Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate General American Civil War. This is episode 4 of our Confederate Let's Play using the JMP mod. We are on to, I believe it's called Ambush Convoy. And we're allowed to take 12 brigades into this. We do get two uh, skirmishing cavalry in addition to that. I did start naming the artillery, but I'm not sure in this mod if naming your units actually reflects on the battlefield. Because I did a couple like tests here and there, and these names didn't seem to um, move over onto the battlefield. It looked like they just kept their names like Cable and uh, Kirkland and Butler. So I'm not entirely sure on that front, but we are going to test this out. So this is just pretty basic. We have three artillery. We have, what is that, like seven infantry and two two of our cavalry. I did put Jeb Stewart in charge of some cavalry. We do have a little bit of a uh, morale negative and our efficiency is a little bit down. Officer's rank is low for the size of the unit. I mean, he's a colonel. 500 guys. Okay, well, so our melee cav, their efficiency is a little bit low. Probably interesting that a brigadier is also low for 500. So, I'm, I'm not sure what the, the breakpoints are for all of that, but obviously we do need to level up some of our officers. I did spend a bunch of our reputation on um, some weapons here. I believe there was those Jeb Stewart, and then I can't remember what the weapons here. Oh, it was MJ, MJ and G Type 2s. I bought a bunch of those, so we haven't been spending a lot of cash. Uh, that's one of the... Oh... That's one of the hints that I've been provided quite often, um, is like, try to use your rep buys to buy things like weapons every once in a while, buy officers, things like that, so. And then the morale negative isn't isn't too big. Let's go ahead and go into Ambush Convoy, so we'll, we'll receive $59,000, 3,600 men, and 5 reputation for winning this. I did put a point, I believe it was in politics and army organization, and then we'll go army organization from there. Um, because we need that five army organization for the Battle of Shiloh. So attack convoy 29th September 1861. The Union is massing its army near our capital, Richmond. Almost certainly they are preparing to attack and threaten to destroy our new government prematurely. Our scouts reported that one of their most important supply convoys loaded with heavy ammunition and weapons is on the way to support the Yankee army. We need to ambush and seize the supplies from at least one wagon. Two local cavalry units have already taken positions to join our attack under your command. So we are outnumbered, but at the beginning it is very much an ambush of the uh, the convoy or that we're attacking. So it's a little a little lightly armed. On the battlefield here, the Union is massing its army near our capital. That is exact same words as what we just read. Our reconnaissance patrols report that one of their most important supply... Yeah, this is literally the same. I That's one of the things in this game I, I wish they did a little bit different was didn't like exactly replicate every once in a while what you, what you read on the, the first part. So this is a little bit different. They're going to meet with General McDowell commanding about 7,000 infantry and he needs those supplies. So we'll, we'll have to fend off a Union counterattack once we grab those supplies. General, this is a great opportunity to opportunity to ambush and seize those supplies from the Yankees before McDowell arrives with his much stronger army local cavalrymen will join our attack. So we get Jones and somebody else. If we succeed, not only can we use the supply for our army, but we'll surely impress our people in West Virginia and get more military support. General it is going to be a risky process. If the Federals are too strong, it is advised to withdraw into the woods and live to fight another day. Good luck. All right, on the battlefield, moving our forces out. Um, we did have a split of some cavalry, so that's always a little bit bonus. There's the enemy supply wagons, and then I do want the the allied skirmisher cav kind of going out in front of the regular cav, mainly because the allied skirmishers are not are not ours, so I don't I don't care about them as much. Nope, I need you guys. Okay. There we go. Shoot them. Shoot them. Okay, there's... there's that. Let's see what we can do over here to grab all of that stuff. That's interesting. Can you go grab all those supplies? 
they charged immediately, which is, you know, not something you normally see. But if we can go grab, if we can break them, that'd be fantastic. You guys can go charge that. That's even better. And then if you guys can go charge those routing guys, if yeah, if we can if we can mop up like their army before the reinforcements come, that would be crazy awesome. Alright, so those guys are broken. How's this going? Let's continue, continue shooting all of that. Let's get skirmishers out and about. That's perfect. And then, actually what I want to do is now pull back. Um, yeah, that's our, that's our new plan, is to, to pull back into the forest. and see what we can do with all of that so let's pull back into the trees and then we just have like a skirmisher picket line is basically how it's going to go and then who's who's out over here so we've got more skirmishers we've got all of our okay that's what that's another thing i need to do where's my you guys need to be group one, you guys need to be group two, you are group three, and then all of this skirmisher cab is group four. And we're just, you know, walking the supplies back. Right, that's going to be okay. They're, they might charge forward with all of their guys, but we're going to regroup. If they charge us, We'll counter charge. Okay, they're wavering. They're wow. The okay. The, things route way, way too fast in this. That's just at least how it looks on my my end. Can we can we do like a a very loose like fallback? Can we get you guys back? You guys over here. Just keep falling back. Come on, fall back, fall back, fall back. Alright, we need to reorganize all of this. Because this is a little bit of a mess. And you guys need to go more like so. You guys need to be more, more like so. Okay, you guys get out of there, please. The supplies are nearly where they need to be. And then I would like this howitzer there. I would like you here. I would like the three inch there. And then let's continue moving guys back. So just keep keep falling back is the is the plan. And really just kind of like a delaying action is what we are what we are planning. Where do we we probably need our well we could we could keep the melee cab over here and we'll keep uh we'll keep all the skirmishing cab over here too. Yeah, because they keep charging into us. They're they're going to win these melees. Oh, did they glitch out? Okay, they they should be like breaking soon. And then I do need you guys to get out of there. I don't I don't need my my melee cab taking crazy amounts of damage. Quicksilver. Let's move you over here. Let's move you into the center. Where's the other supplies? Perfect. Oh man, get get out of there, guys. Can we I don't know if they're charging, so we'll we'll just move up. Get you guys out of there. 
and then really just get skirmishers out. Actually, these skirmishers could stay over here. And then these, that cab can be over there. And I think that's, uh, that looks pretty good, to be honest. The enemy, you know, they're, they're not in great positions. We're in an okay position. Definitely not, not great by any stretch of the imagination, but I would like you to be in the center, actually. I think that's a good place for you. Have we made this a six? Yeah. Okay. And then we can we can go charge that cab if it gets froggy. Okay, it's getting froggy. So, using using our uh, ally cab as bait, basically. No, we don't need to be flanked. That's that's not good. We don't need to. Okay, they're routing. If we can, if we can make them surrender, perfect. I need to remember I have keybinds for this. You guys go away. Is the enemy just sitting back there? You realize that I, I've won, right? Okay, get back, get back, get back. See if they're going to charge again. Come on, guys, get back. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, not that far, not that far. Those guys are really not doing well. They've got a bunch of cab on that flank too, but I, th I feel like, I feel like we are in a very good position even. Okay, you guys are out off the battlefield. Counter charge over there. Keep firing forward, please. So our our one unit will eat up the very first charge, and then and then we try and kill their unit. Okay, they are they are routing. We're flanked. All right, get out of there now. And then those guys are wavering now. They are pushing those flanks pretty hard by the looks of it. Yeah, they're moving men out on the flank, but they're not really moving forward to attack. I mean, we took some casualties with our with our cavalry, but nothing, nothing crazy. And we sort of have this picket line of skirmishers, and we, we have their supplies so it's not like there's no incentive there, there is an incentive for us to go out and attack these guys but at the same time there's not because they outnumber us like the incentive is you you knock down the enemy's numbers a bit which really helps out in the long term just the enemy's not not coming to us at all I mean, we are... we're losing this firefight over here. I would like if these guys could come back a little bit further. And really, really get into our lines. I don't understand how withdrawing causes blank fire, but it did. Um, yeah, I mean, the enemy just kind of sitting out in the open waiting for us, which is a little bit weird. I... I kind of get what it's doing, but at the same time... It's good. I, I wish the AI realized that it's currently losing, but there's no negative for the AI losing, I guess. So, that's always weird. I wonder, is it better if we dismount? I don't know if it is, but we're going to dismount those guys just because. I would love to crush that little flank over there. I mean, we could move more skirmishers over. See if that elicits any kind of response from the enemy. Probably not. I mean, they are they're quite heavy over here. I feel like we should fast forward a little. 
This is definitely turned into a weird battle because the enemy is not really wanting to charge. Let's see what we can what we can get to happen over here. So there's there's some more of their skirmishers gone. We can if we can just like wipe out this flank of all their skirmishers, I would feel really good. And then maybe we can do like a little bit of a push. I I don't, I don't know. I feel like we're in a really weird situation here. I really thought the enemy would charge forward, try and take its uh, captured supply wagons back, but it seems like it has no no desire whatsoever to do that. All right, all of this. I would like to completely get rid of all of these skirmishers. These cav are about to disappear because if I if I could isolate those two cavalry that would be great okay, those guys are, are routing okay can we can we push you guys up and then keep you guys on the little eyeball I think that's actually really helpful yeah all right okay so one of our one of our cav shattered but it's not our cav just repeat that. I, I think you... Kanto always says that it's better to like keep those guys alive and you get more rescues. At the same time, uh, <laughs> I'd rather keep my guys alive than them, but I, I do try and somewhat keep them alive. Like, I don't... I'm not trying to, you know, suicide them kind of like I did at Gettysburg with um, Buford's men, where I think I lost every single last one of them. So, if the enemy's not going to charge forward, then we'll just end the battle when it comes up. Okay, well, here comes the enemy charging forward, so we shall see what the what the game gives us. Well, the battle ended. Okay, so there's no option to continue. That was weird. We didn't kill a lot. We captured some. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing. Um, I like I always hear that you you want to crush as many of them as possible. That's why I moved back because I'd rather be in the trees and kind of create a trap for them. It's really weird that they didn't come and try to recapture their supply wagons. I thought I had a really good like strategy there. We we grabbed the stuff, retreated, formed a new line. So, I, I don't know how I feel about that battle. I mean, Gonzo Gamer Panda Kraut, should I replay this and try to destroy more of them? Um, I'm thinking the answer is probably yes. Uh, I don't know how bad that'll be for Shiloh, but... Like, yeah, I, I, I don't know. That's the, That was a very strange battle. Okay, so on the on the army camp screen, I mean, we didn't take many casualties, but we did level up these units, and I feel like that's really good and important, and we didn't, as I said, we didn't really take any casualties. I mean, our, our cavalry did, but they also did pretty well, and like, we've regained a bunch of veterans, also really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss on that battle. I don't know how how I don't know if leaving that many soldiers alive is a bad thing but anyways that is it for today's episode next battle we are staying alert that's a good chunk of money compared to what we're used to and then we have the battle of Shiloh which will probably be another one where I bash my head into and try to figure out this mod is tough guys I'm 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 liking the challenge. There's also times where I'm like, I would really like to get this episode done. I'm spending way too much time recording these because um, I've like, I'm not going to lie. I, I replayed that battle multiple times. And there are so many times where like I overextended and the enemy just like chain charged me and wiped me out. 
So that time my plan was retreat into the woods and then the enemy never like they were super passive so but that is it for today's episode as always guys until next time